So this is a 2008 Toyota Tundra extended cab, uh, 5.7 liter V8. Basically what's going on is I have my TPMS sensor here uh, showing the low pressure indicator. That's the flashing light here in the corner. So as I mentioned, it's a 2008. So the truck is at the time of recording this video, 12 years old. I went and had new tires put on the truck and the TPMS light was on. So I asked, I believe I was at discount tire to go ahead and reset that light. Well, they attempted to scan the TPMS sensors that are in the tire and two of them were not responding. So I'm assuming either they may have been damaged when putting the tire on or the fact that the truck is 12 years old that the battery in them has died. Uh, to, the other two sensors did show low battery so I just figured um, hey it's 12 year old truck I might as well go ahead and replace all the sensors. So in this Tundra they run the 315 megahertz transmitter so I had all four replaced and when they went to reset the light um, same thing the light just uh, flashed for about a minute and then stayed solid so they thought well maybe the truck wasn't reading these sensors right so they swapped those sensors out for uh, same megahertz just a different brand same thing so upon a little bit of research I figured okay maybe they've locked the ECU uh, sometimes there's the small button underneath the dash here that you can press when you rotate the tires to sort of re have the system relearn the positions and tire pressures. Uh, so if you do that, it will lock the ECU, uh, especially if the IDs aren't reading properly. So I had no way to verify if they programmed the sensors properly. Uh, typically what you would do is take the old TPMS sensor um, scan it and then program the new sensor with the same ID. Uh, so unfortunately I had no way to verify if that was done because they threw away the sensors. So now we've replaced the sensors twice and this light's still on. So upon further research I realized that we have the four sensors, you have a TPMS receiver, and then the module itself. So all four sensors goes to the receiver and then that is sent up to the TPMS module. So I'll show you what I've done to rectify this issue. So to gain access to the TPMS receiver, what you'll want to do is pull down the rear headliner. So there's going to be four pins, one, two, three, four, that holds this headliner up. And the TPMS receiver is held up right here by a 10 uh, millimeter bolt. So here's the wiring harness for the receiver. I've already pulled it out. So basically, to, the easiest way to, to do this is go ahead and remove this headrest, open up this glass window so you can look up, and then just slightly pull down and you'll you'll see it here so you can get a, a socket wrench and uh, take that out but what you're looking for is this piece right here uh, this is the receiver so this is what i believe is triggering that low pressure sensor because the ids can't read um, i do have a scan tool so i did scan all the sensors myself and pulled the codes out of the ecu and they match so i know my sensors are programmed properly it's just i believe uh, this device has failed here's the part number for the tpms receiver that is eight nine seven six zero dash zero c is in charlie zero one zero and that's it so before I bolt everything back up, I just went ahead and plugged in the new receiver. C 
system pass no fault codes detected on the DTC and there we go light is now gone problem solved